We have to figure that out, but we don't know yet. Volcano Island! What's up, P Nation? Today is another travel day. We are traveling from Naxos to Santorini, and we realized we haven't shown you much of Naxos, so we're gonna tell you about that in a minute. But first, we gotta catch our ferry. What time does it leave at? It leaves at 12.55, so we've got about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna walk to the port and show you a little bit of Naxos. We're going to Santorini, which is like the lover's paradise island here in Greece. And so it's about a two hour ferry ride. We booked with Blue Star Ferries, we got our tickets, they were 22 euro each. Anyways, we're so excited. It's really easy to book online. We booked through goferry.com, just a tip. It like makes it really simple and easy to get all of your ferry tickets you need to go to whatever islands you need to go to. This is our second island that we're going to and we are just so excited. Our ferry is only two hours, which does not seem like a long time, but we get, tend to get bored. So we bought snacks. So we have some tzatziki sauce. We have watermelon. And I'm on my way to get some fresh bread for the tzatziki. So two euro later, we have two chocolate croissants and a whole like roll thing. It's like in the shape of a wreath with sesame seeds on it. It's gonna be delicious. I'm very excited for our snack. Okay, and so while we still are waiting for our ferry, I have about 30 minutes to show you the Temple of Apollo, located here on Naxos. It is an ancient temple, it's very beautiful, and it is in like the most scenery, scenery? It has the best scenic view, I think, in all of Naxos. Apologize for the wind in advance. Here's some history on this structure. The people of Naxos built a huge temple out here on this like tiny little peninsula just outside of town in honor of the Greek god Apollo, who is like the protector of music and art. What's really crazy is that one of the door frames is still standing and it is here and they light it up in the nighttime and it's just really, really beautiful. It really is in like the perfect position. See all the way out there, there's a ferry and that's our ferry that we're getting on today. So now the ferry is getting a little bit closer, so I'm gonna head back to Zach and we're gonna get on this ferry to Century. Okay, so last time we got on this, we got on it super late, and this time it's so interesting to see them load everything. Mm -hmm. you know, it's like everyone's having to back up, it's super mm -hmm. chaotic, people are yelling in Greek. So lively. A lot of action.
made it to Santorini and I realized we haven't told you what we really did in Naxos yet. We pretty much like hung out. We didn't do all that much really other than like walking around, relaxing, doing the whole Greek thing, drinking lots of wine, eating lots of food, lots of pita bread, mm -hmm. lots of olive oil. We, we had a kitchen so they cooked for us a lot. Yeah. And then one day we went on a little motorcycle trip, which was nice. It was amazing. Yeah. I don't know what the other Greek islands are like, but I think you should visit Naxos if yeah. you have a chance because the motorcycle ride was unlike anything else. I mean, we started at zero, like zero feet uh, sea level, and we went all the way up to 3,000 feet. But now we're here in Santorini, and the water's so blue. I had no idea that the entire place was a cliffside. I thought like probably the port would come down to like a slope, but it doesn't seem that way. It's like all a cliff. And I think it's, is it part of a volcano? I don't know. We have to figure that out, but we don't know yet. Volcano Island. Okay, and we have made it. Apparently, Leah booked an Airbnb with a person that's gonna pick us up and take us there, yes. which is a first for us. We haven't had that ever. So we'll see how this works. I'm but... really happy she's picking us up because like I said before, this whole island is clear ship side, sheer cliff side. <laughs> Or a bus. So we would walk, I mean, we get good walk. exercise walking up this mountain. We would walk all the way up this cliff. With our suitcases. We don't have to. I had no idea this many people were on our cruise ship. It's really big, it does not feel like it's that many people. That is crazy. I don't know how we're here. Oh, it was like a whirlwind of things. We're talking to our driver about like Santorini and how it's crazy and forests and stuff like that. And all of a sudden we're here. He carried all five of our bags up by himself. I don't know what happened. Anyways, here's our room. Look, it's the Greek god Athena and her cherub. We have our beds. We have a kitchenette. We have a little place. And the cutest bathroom! I love it! So we're here for only three nights. We have a limited time to figure out what Santorini is all about. This is way different than Naxos. Much more busy, crazy, touristy, I think. But we'll figure that out later. Make a real assessment for ourselves. But now we have to go to the beach! We're gonna walk around Parisia and show you Black Beach. This is beautiful mountains meet the sea, meet this black sand that's from the volcano because I don't know if you know but the entire island it's a volcano. So we know that while you're here in Santorini you're really supposed to spend time like going to the really cool communities up in the north but since we are staying so close to a beach I think definitely one of the days we're here, one of the two, we're gonna have a beach day. Always looking for, oh my gosh, this bakery is open 24 hours. This might be our new favorite spot. We've got goods, now it's time for some real food, Greek salad. Okay, so this is a new segment we're doing called Cooking with Leah. So today we're making a Greek salad. It's very easy, it's easier than most think because there's not really that much stuff in it. We have some tomatoes, an onion, a cucumber, some feta cheese, some capers, some olive tamponade because we don't really like olives and we don't like eating them, oregano, olive oil, and red wine vinegar. Step one. Chop your veggies. Next you add your oregano. Add way more than you think you'll need. Red wine vinegar. Olive oil. And here is the trick. Do not miss this step because it's important. Do not use crumbled feta cheese. You have to use the real stuff in the block. You slice it, you cube it, and you put it around the salad, nice and pretty like. You add more oregano and more olive oil. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was our first try at a segment of cooking. Hope you enjoyed Tell it. Tell us what you think. <laughs>
I enjoyed watching her, so I don't know if you did too. But anyways, today was crazy. We saw Santorini, the crazy parts of it. We'll actually get to see what it looks like tomorrow. We made it, we made it. We made it, we made it. <laughs>